Our top story this afternoon, the US Federal Reserve has raised interest rates for just the second time in more than a decade. The move to hike rates by a quarter point had been widely anticipated. The big, big question now is, what comes next? Noah Ram starts us off. The Fed has raised the benchmark rate to between half a percent and three quarters of a percent, only up by 25 basis points. The last increase was in December last year from a record low near zero set during the 2008 financial crisis. The Federal Open Market Committee voted unanimously for the hike, citing a stronger U.S. economy, better job reports and inflation nearing its 2 percent target. Over the past year, two and a quarter million net new jobs have been created, unemployment has fallen further, and inflation has moved closer to our longer run goal of 2 percent. Yellen also said there would only need to be gradual increases in the future based on the Fed's expectations for the economy. We continue to expect that the evolution of the economy will warrant only gradual increases in the federal funds rate over time to achieve and maintain our objectives. One name that was left out of her official announcement was Donald Trump. During questions at the conference, however, she downplayed expectations that Trump's expansionary fiscal policies will fuel inflation and hence lead to faster rate hikes. But she did indicate that Trump's impact on U.S. tax and spending policies might have influenced some of her colleagues' forecasts for next year. The Fed sees three rate hikes next year instead of the two foreseen in September, which Yellen says will be modest adjustments driven by growth of the U.S. economy and a more buoyant jobs market. By the end of 2017, the key rate is expected to reach 1.4 percent, 2.1 percent the year after and 2.9 percent in 2019. In reaction to the widely expected news, Wall Street was mostly down, but not by much. The Dow Jones Industrial Average lost about 0.6 percent, the S&P 500 fell 0.8 percent and the Nasdaq slid a half a percent. The dollar index rose just under 1 percent against the basket of major currencies. Noaram Alirang News.